Welcome back to Campbell Kitchen, and today we're going to make pasta alla grigia, a very quick and easy traditional Roman pasta dish. Start off by buying some guanciale. Guanciale is cured pork jowl. It comes from the cheek of the pig. You can use bacon or pancetta, but guanciale is preferable. I'm using fresh rigatoni, and I'm using some nice, high-quality Pecorino Romano cheese. Now this dish has very few ingredients, so it's important that you use really high quality, the highest quality you can get. So start off by cubing your guanciale. You can see the guanciale looks similar to bacon. It's very fatty. It has a very complex flavor and it goes well in almost every pasta dish. It is extremely delicious. Definitely buy it if you can find it. If not, pancetta or bacon will work. You're gonna cube it up and you're gonna warm it in a pan to render out that fat and to crisp it up. So over medium heat, I'm crisping up that guanciale. When it gets a little crispy, I'm adding black pepper. I'm toasting the pepper, then I'm removing the pan from the heat. Now at the same time, I brought some water up to a boil, and I'm gonna boil my rigatoni. I'm using fresh rigatoni. It cooks for just a few minutes. I'm straining it, then I'm gonna add it to that guanciale. I'm gonna give it a nice toss to coat the noodles in that fat. I'm gonna turn off the heat, add a little pecorino cheese, and add pasta water. In order to have a creamy sauce, you have to have the right ratio of fat, cheese, and pasta water. So just tinker around with the ratios. Generally speaking, you need to add more water than you think you need to add. So add water, stir, 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 and it'll get nice and creamy just like this. Now it's time to plate the pasta up, finish with a little fresh grated Pecorino Romano cheese. Start to finish, this whole dish took me less than 10 minutes, and it is just something that is so delicious any time of the day, any time of the year. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave any comments if you have any questions below, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.